good early if i'm being honest a lot colder than i anticipated this trip to be as you can see i'm wearing sarah's jacket because i didn't bring my winter jacket good morning did i finish that we're so glad you're here we did these vlogs so if you enjoyed this video make sure you come back every day it is 5 40 in the morning and i'm walking to an orange theory literally like two blocks away from the white house how cool is that The White House is like five blocks away, not two, so I won't be seeing it, but I made it to class on time. It starts in 15 minutes. I have to, I came a little early to figure out if there's anything different I have to do with my heart monitor or anything because I'm usually at a different studio, so. And I don't know, I know they need vax cards, which I have. I don't know if it's a mask on or off kind of studio because of DC's mandates or not. We'll find out. First class is free. Look at this morning I walk out to. Come on. Come on. I think my hotel that I parked the car, it's like way down there. All right, so cool thing that I've always heard about Orange Theory is like the classes are structured the same every day. So like even if you take a class in DC versus Chicago, you're doing essentially the same workout. There's different studio, different coach, different peers around me or so. Good class, um, you know. Feels good to stay fresh during all this travel and everything. I'm, I'm gonna look into getting some runs. Jacksonville, North Carolina is right on the beach. And my brother, I think, is bringing his shoes. So I'm gonna hope to get in like a Wednesday and a Thursday run um, in Jacksonville, just to keep up the working out when I'm not in town, which I think is something that a lot of people miss, um, but super very important. So I gotta go. It's cold today, as I was saying just now. And I left James's puff down jacket in the car like a foolish person so now i'm walking a mile out of the direction to go get it before heading back to the airbnb i'm getting ready for the day um no big deal i'm just walking down l street and i was like wait that building looks familiar um it's the white house what i'm walking i'm over here on p and 22nd and here's this whole memorial dedicated to the liberation for the liberation, freedom, and independence of all captive nations, dedicated to a Ukrainian poet who fought for the independence of Ukraine. Taras Shevchenko. Cool. Now, I keep walking past intersections being distracted by things like that. I was actually supposed to turn, so I walked too far one direction, had to backtrack. That's the third time I've done that this morning. All right, here we go. Bagels, etc. Look at this little, oh, look at the Wizard of Oz mural up there. Just this little joint right here in the bottom. Back to this place. Oh, so cool. So classic. I mean, so I got the same thing jalapeno bagels, egg and ham, and James got an everything bagel. Look who just woke up to a Washington, D.C. bagel. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Breakfast in bed. Delicious. We have a jealous puppy. Here is the sandwich that Sarah and I got. We both got the same thing jalapeno bagel delicious we made it out so it's a little blustery this morning i mean like in the 30s yeah so it's not actually bad when you're in the sun with no, no wind yeah um but I know, it'll be warmer throughout the day so yeah. hopefully this is the coldest it is but james is uh probably the most prepared of all of us they're a second me least uh, but we're making our way over to 16th street to walk over to the white house um, we're debating on how we want it today to work because we want to go see the cherry blossoms near the Jefferson Memorial, which is a little bit further away from all the Smithsonian stuff, but we want to potentially see the National Archives right. to see. And those things, those things have like hours. Yes. So seeing the trees is just outside. We so. just want that to be during daylight though. Right. So the trees are outside and so you know we don't need to be there during a certain amount like certain time but i think if we just if we do that first we make sure we see them during the daylight same with some monuments that are just like outdoors
as we were going into the Lafayette Square, they closed the park down. I don't, forgot if they don't know that's what happens when the president comes through, but I wasn't sure when he was coming back from Poland or not. But there's the White House in Lafayette Square. All right, so it's not Joe Biden showing up. There's actually a security threat, we think, in Lafayette Park. Yeah. So that's why they're shutting it down, investigating it. And so we have to go. We're able to stand across the street because we thought maybe like it would be fast and we would be able to go take a picture closer. But they're actually close. Now we're, they're making us move even farther from the White House. Yeah. We're going to go the long way around. Yeah. And we're going through Black Lives Matter Plaza. Yeah, so this is like what, three streets, it looks like? Yeah. So it's like in Orlando. It's like on the ground. So it says. Yeah, so it's Black Lives Matter. Well, look what we found. It's the National Christmas Tree. Cool helicopter. And a cool helicopter. You can see the background. Dome. Oh, I think he just stirred. And there's a uh, Lincoln Memorial and the reflection. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I think she should shoot the stairs. Gonna run across it. I'll stand on one side and you run across it. Right after the Forrest and Jenny moment. <laughs> that is one of the best cinematic moments. And then we're walking towards just chains. We gotta, we gotta go one way or the other. But we also need to go that way to go look at more of these cherry blossoms. Okay. The cherry blossoms. The reason why we came to DC. No, it just happened. These only bloom a short period of time. What? There's so many. There's a porta potty. Oh, that's what you're <laughs> excited about. Like, like Sarah said, these only blossom for a short period of time, once a year, and it happens to be now. Oh, like researching a bunch. Yeah, I mean, researching means like following the blonde is great. and we're going to head our way to the yeah. National Archive, I think, first to try to see some important slabs of paper. This is a cool, like, gift from Japan. Yeah. And, like, um, I should read exactly what it says. But I have the history. First Lady Helen Taft. I'll link this little history thing in the description. Yeah. But, um, they had gifted, they had planted two as, like, a ceremonial, um, situation. So it was a gift of friendship to the people of the United States from the people of Japan in 1912. Sweet. Here is the IRS. I actually did not know there was like a physical IRS. Taxes are what we pay for a civilized society. And our first museum of the day is the National Archive. What's in there, Peter? Pieces of paper. Oh, yeah? Declaration of Independence. Bill of Rights. Alrighty, if you want to pull a Nicolas Cage, come here. Speaking of, so there's actually no photography in the archives. So we won't be able to show anything 
We'll be real descriptive afterwards about how we, what we saw, what we felt. We'll post a link to what the documents say, if you didn't know. Yeah, so there's a lot of cool stuff here, and I feel like I don't even really realize what we're about to go see besides the Declaration of Independence. This is a cool gift shop. It's weird. I love DC gift shops. And the good news is, Jamesy is awake for it. <gasps> James is being a little naughty, a little nice. <laughs> but cute nonetheless. Okay, Peter, where to next? Uh, National History? Natural History Museum? Yeah, it's well, just across the street. Food, yeah. In there. I am so excited to see this. I wrote a, what? It's, an it's a typewriter eraser by Claus Oldenburg. And in college, I wrote a whole research paper on this sculpture. It's so nice. Art students. It's fun. So this is a sculpture garden. That looks like the Flamingo in Chicago, but I haven't gotten a good look at it yet. We are going to this pavilion cafe. It smells good. We need food. We need substance. And I need a chair. Oh, look at all this food. Are we gonna eat lunch? Wait a minute, Sarah. What is this? <laughs> Alright, we just had like a, a lunch. It was delicious. I think we need it for like physically, morally, for sustenance. All of the above. So now, even though it's 2 30 and this joint closes at 5, we're gonna cross the street and go to the Natural History Museum and just kind of pick and choose like one or two things we really want to spend our time at. Hopefully, yeah. James will either just chill or we can take a nap. We have the light, so that's cool. In case you did not say the right name, we are going to the Smithsonian Institution Natural Museum. We have made it in. We're gonna go check out the fossils first. Alright, I remember this. You remember this? Yeah. Do you like it? <laughs> They're fighting. A mammoth and this awesome quote. From so simple beginning, endless forms, most beautiful and most diverse, have been and are being evolved. Charles Darwin on the origin of species. I have it, I will read it one day. Oh, There's the Smithsonian Castle. Beautiful. There's a carousel. These are more like artsy things. We are headed to the air and space. Is that what it's called? Air and space? You don't remember going there in eighth grade? No? I'm pumped. I remember being there. Everyone was playing hide and go seek. And I was peeved because I wanted to actually enjoy the museum. Well, we got about just under two hours to do that. Great. And the capital. The air and space museum is closed today. I just saw a sign that it was closing soon for like refurbishment or renovation. I mean, there's a gigantic crane, you know, there. Um, so, luckily we're at the National Mall and we can just hop over to the other. We're just crossing the street and going to the National Gallery of Art. I'm actually kind of excited. We might have had to walk around to the entirely opposite side, but we made it. Wow, 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 look at this rotundum here.
That is pretty. This may be the most exciting part of James's day. He is obsessed with fountains. We're gonna go check out the American art and sculptures. This is beautiful. And the atrium come a rotunda. Come on. These pillars. Come on. So much fill. Can you hear yourself? Oh. Woo. Woo. James, he does the no museum and it can't just Wow. These are these are like the portraits of them. to show it somewhere else. This little three star, two stripe combo. On the other side, yeah. That is the DC flag. And it is ranked the number one flag design, like most popular. Um, it's first, second is the Chicago flag. Again, like who voted? I don't know. I'm kind of <laughs> partial to the Chicago flag. But again, it's like super simple, but DC loves their flag. I would say like kind of like Chicago was, like just like those little tiny. Yeah, I mean when you're in a state, what else do you have to watch? <laughs> True, but it's like even on their like little street signs and stuff. It's just they use it a lot. We're struggling. We're toast. We're beyond toast, and everywhere we go, the wind is against us. We turn a corner, against us. Turn a corner, against us. I got a souvenir. <laughs> we stopped at the CVS. <laughs> so I could get hair gel, like hair paste. Goes out. And <laughs> picked up the Cherry Blossom Festival. <laughs> as a souvenir. <laughs> we got the gigs. Our baby. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're like three and a half, four blocks away. <laughs> the sun is still up. <laughs> James thinks it's hilarious. <sighs> Here we go. Here is Sarah's Cherry Blossom, Washington, D.C. Kind of cheesy shirt from a CVS. It's a nice souvenir. It looks extra comfy cozy. Tonight. We're all toast. I literally wince at every movement. <laughs> so we ordered tacos, and then after the tacos, we're gonna have to start getting ready a little bit, and then go to bed. It's a good girl. James, you got a veggie quesadilla. I got a Korean beef taco, a chicken taco. A fried shrimp taco and an El Pastor taco. All right, it's 9:22, and I think we're all gonna try to go to bed. The days of Brookhart's at 3 a.m. just don't uh, properly exist anymore. <laughs> what do you have to say? Why do you have a pipe cleaner for sippy bottles? Okay. Oh he wants to go play, even though it's bedtime. Um, so we're getting ready to make a plan for the morning. We're so exhausted. <laughs> we're also, um, so we're gonna sign up now. <gasps> it's a pipe cleaner. But we're gonna sign up and we wanna let you guys know that, um, this is the part of the trip where we're not gonna vlog. Yes. Until we leave North Carolina. We're gonna get, we, we wake up tomorrow, pack up, load up the car, and we head to North Carolina, uh, tomorrow to meet the rest of our family, to be meet at my grandparents' house, um, to get ready for the services and everything. Mm -hmm. That'll be later, a little later in the week. Um, 
So yeah, it will probably Friday won't be morning. back until the weekend. Yeah, Saturday or Sunday. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure that out. But we're leaving North Carolina Friday morning to drive towards Chicago Brick and the drive up for one night. Yeah. Uh, but not doing like any adventures along that night. It's just gonna be like literally stopping to sleep to wake up to get back to Chicago right. Saturday afternoon evening. Um, I hope you guys liked our like road trip to not Florida. <laughs> it was yeah, weird. It, it was, was different. It was, it was weird. Um but it was good. So thanks again for coming along. And it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.